All right. All right. Well, welcome to the service unit uh, roundtable. The CEI Force Awakens. Improve customer experience, experience, you will. So we're going to get started. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, hello. My uh, name is Jody Brodkin. I'm the Volunteer Support and Program Director. And on the call with me tonight is Megan Duvall, uh, CEI Project Manager, and also uh, Jennifer Fister, our MARCOM uh, Director for the Council. So welcome. Thank you guys for being on the call this evening. So tonight's agenda, we're going to start uh, with a whole new world, new ways of work. We're going to kind of highlight the, uh, we're going to go through and highlight the customer care, recruiting specialists, all the volunteer of uh, staff roles, um, and as well as um, some new ways of work for all staff and the service unit roles that we've redefined. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is just our CEI next steps. We have less than one month to go before we go live with CEI. We're all excited. Welcome, Amo. Amo's arriving. Um, and then, of course, we're going to just send out a reminder, June 22nd will be our next roundtable uh, go-to meeting. And then we're going to have a little sneak preview before we let you go. So we'll give it just a second. Let Amo sign on. All right, we're going to get going. Well, again, it's a new ways of work for our council. So we're super excited and a new and a fantastic point of view. Yes, hey. And Jody, uh, so this is Megan, and I just want to jump in really quick. So we, we started off with our, um, well, you've seen some of the fun posters in Jody's emails leading up to tonight's call. And we had a um, Star Wars one at the beginning, and then we've got this. Aladdin-based one, and I just want to give a shout out to our uh, website and design specialist, Lillian Minix. She has, she really has had fun with uh, getting the staff excited, and we wanted to share some of her really fun posters. So, just want to give her some credit for these, these great. That's right. Um, kudos, kudos to Lillian. Yeah, it's been fun. All right, so. Uh, first thing, uh, well, here's the thing, Megan, would you like to speak to this? Sure. So before we jump into the new ways of work in, in the new CEI world, we want to remind you that we're not there yet. So please pardon our dust. Continue to pardon our dust as the staff works really hard. Um, overall, you know, the staff is going to start is make the main tra transition um, starting June 12th. So between now and then, the departments and positions are are transitioning at different speeds, and you know it's unique to each person as they move into new roles or or, or hand off some things. So just again, pardon our dust. And um, the big the big piece that we want to drill home. Um, for the new ways of, of world before we get into the details of the positions is the uh, the use of info at gsvsc.org. So, the, you know, we're going to talk about what each role will be doing, but overall, with this new system that we're getting, this new great and powerful system, all you have to really remember is if you have a question for the council, all you have to remember is info at gsvsc.org and uh, the customer care specialists are going to make sure it gets to exactly where it needs to go. So you don't need to remember who's doing what, when, where. Uh, the new system will make sure it gets to the right person. So we're going to kind of drill that. That'll be one of our themes for tonight is getting you all familiar and comfortable with info at gsvsc.org. Jody, I think you might be on mute. Oh, yes, I am. Sorry oh. about that. <laughs> I'm back now. I'm just talking away. So customer care specialists, um, Kathleen Ford and Deborah Giles. So they'll they'll see who you see. They'll they'll be the ones sitting in the front office there. And of course, the supporting roles are played by Helen Hill and Judy Fote, um, who normally work in the uh, Girl Scout shop, but they are also providing customer care. Um, so th those are our customer care specialists. Uh, recruitment specialists um, are Deidre Kellner, Stephanie Micklum, 
Elizabeth Buckley. And they will be um, at the events, 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 recruitment events, tables, booths, and fairs. And then they will be supporting our tra and training our service unit recruiters. So no more will they be spending their time uh, placing girls into troop and working with troops to renew. Their main focus and role will be out there um, recruiting new leaders and girls for Girl Scouts. Placement specials. This is a new role for us. We've added two new roles for the council staff, and that's Amy Morgan and uh, Star Mays. They are our placement specials, the recruitment specials partners in crime. Um, we, <laughs> Megan calls them their waiting list wizards, and they place girls and adults into troops, and they convert parents and adults into troop co-leaders and volunteers. It's m magical. So through the through the um, wonders of CEI and the tools of the Opportunity Catalog. Uh, they will be helping uh, girls and adults get into the right place. Our program specialists will be April Gilly and Stephanie Collins, and their main roles will lie with program support. They will be leading uh, council-led signature events um, based on global action events and outdoor STEM and program pillars. Um, they uh, provide volunteer-run camp support They'll be working with our program partners and collaborations with different organizations to bring co more programs to our council. Um, they'll be working on volunteer resources for council programs in a box and council patch programs. And then they will be collaborating with the service unit program volunteers um, to help um, make sure that um, they're prepared and planned and work with them to have uh, service unit you know, events where, where needed. Um, there, one of the new roles that they will be taking on actually is outreach, which are basically staff-led troops, um, we are, which are grant-funded by United Ways and um, where they go and lead activities based on the national program portfolio um, at the Boys and Girls Clubs and several um, Boys and Girls Clubs out throughout the council. <laughs> Um, our volunteer specialist roles are held by Megan Cherznowski, Jesse Brockman, and Kate Noggle. Um, Megan and Jesse will be focusing on troop support for grades K through 5, and Kate will be focusing on troop support for 6 through 12. Um, their roles will mainly lie with troop and service unit support. And um, under troop support, they will be helping uh, troop co-leaders with personal contact and, and, and support through emails and different touch points throughout the year. Um, they'll have monthly check-ins and support for their service unit leadership. They'll provide, our, our, actually our training lead will be Megan Chersnowski. And um, um, they will be providing the volunteer toolkit support questions. They will be supporting um, highest awards. Uh, Jesse will be the focus or the, the main specialist for bronze, and Kate will be supporting silver and gold. Um, they all, all will be providing activity trip permission, so no longer will that go through just one person at the staff council. It will, it will be an online form that gets submitted, and it will be assigned to the correct volunteer specialist, and they will approve it um, through, through case management. So that's a new process for us, and we're really excited about speeding up that process. Um, they will also support finance reports, any conflict resolution, um, and then when it comes to renewal time for the um, opportunity catalog updates, they will be providing that through troop support. Um, they also are uh, staff liaisons for our different volunteer committees. For example, Gold Award, uh, Council Trainers, uh, different different groups such as that. Um, so off staff, what's new? We'll be assisting at all the fall uh, recruitment events, all staff, all hands on deck, and then we also will be um, attending service unit meetings. So no longer will you just be your volunteer specialist. We will all be uh, rotating through and coming to see you. But the thing that we're going to remind you is that if you have a question or need help, you are to email or email us at info at gsvsc.org or give us a call and customer care will provide um, assistance in getting you to the right person and, st and by starting a case. All right, so service unit roles redefined. 
So through the CEI process, we've gone through and um, just brushed up some of the the uh, positions. Um, and the idea is that they mirror um, the some of the staff roles. Um, so the finance facilitator is a service unit treasurer. That's, that's not something new, but basically they are um, they um, the service unit treasurer will be the one uh, managing the service unit um, bank account uh, as as usual. Um, the communications facilitator is now back to the service unit secretary role. Um, membership and marketing facilitator has been split. It's been split back out to service unit recru recruiter and service unit PR communications coordinator. So we have uh, divided that back out. So the service unit recruiter obviously is going to be working with the staff recruiter uh, to facilitate back to school days and 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 um, uh, Re Girl Scout open houses. And then your service unit PR communications coordinator hopefully will be helping with uh, social media and websites and um, just getting the all the fun activities that the girls do uh, at the local service unit um, and getting that in the newspaper or on the radio and, and things like that. Um, and then we of course have event facilitator which is now program event planner and we have a new role as a service unit program coordinator. So if you have several program event planner, planners and need a coordinator for that, we have a role for that. Um, one of the other additional supporting roles is a service unit school champion. Um, they will be supporting the uh, service unit recruiters um, and the staff recruiters, and, and, and they basically are your key person at each school. So maybe they know the, the, the school secretary and they have an in with them and they help make sure that we get the flyers to the school and they're just, they're the Girl Scout lady at school. So that's, that's basically their role, just being that, that main contact, point of contact making sure that um, we are um, keeping up with, you know, what's going on at each school. So before I move on, are there any questions? I thought maybe I'm kind of running through. Does anybody have any questions? I've got a question. Okay, if, what's your if question? I have a quest if I have a question, what email do I send it to? Can somebody tell her? <laughs> type, it in the, type it in the chat. If I'm confused about these new positions and I don't and I'm not sure exactly who I now need to talk to, who should I contact? Anybody? Yeah, Amo got it. Amo, info. <laughs> where to go, Amo? Thank you, Amo. Info at tsbc <laughs> That's right. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Yay! All right, so Amo. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Um. All right. So I don't know about y'all i'm sure on one hand you're sick of talking and hearing about cei but we're getting really excited i've heard more than a few times this week from staff that they're just we're basically impatiently waiting at this point we're, we're just we're ready to be in we're ready to play we've done a lot of training these last um few weeks and uh you know we've heard so many great things honestly about this this shift um that we're just we're ready so uh, just kind of fine-tuning making some some final transitions in the last in the next couple of weeks and, and really looking forward all right so I want to talk about the CEI timeline over the next couple of weeks so access to the to the system is going to be in mid to late June so you know like I said earlier we're still transitioning right now we're getting some uh, process uh, handoff like stars training Jesse and Kate on the award um, processes and um, when you go into the office you're going to see some some shifts we've we've opened up the whole front office now we've got Kathleen up front and um, we're getting headsets for our customer care crew they're starting to get used to those and um, really really looking forward and some of the staff, so the, the recruitment specialist will be 
reaching out. They've already um, contacted some people asking for help with their recruitment events. And um, in the meantime, though, so until we're, we're, we're in this uh, new system, uh, reach out to your volunteer support managers. But keep that email on hand, write it down, burn it into your brain because this you know we can't wait for you to experience um, the new customer care once once we switch over. All right, next slide, Jody. So what is how is CEI gonna look for you? What can you expect? So you're gonna get two emails. And we can't tell you exactly when those emails are gonna come because um, starting on June 12th, we're going to be meeting with GSUSA and um, so myself and Kay and some of the staff, we're going to be going through, they've got, um, GSUSA has us go through a lot of data drills and um, making sure things look right and, and the system's working properly. And then sometime on the 15th, they're going to give us their assessment of where we're at and when we're going to send out the email. So we can't tell you exactly when, but you're going to get uh, two emails sometime between the 16th and the 23rd. So you're going to first get what's called kind of a heads up email and um, it's going to come from GSUSA customer care at girlscouts.org and then um, a day or two afterwards you're going to get a, another email from the same address. So so get familiar with that one and when you when you see it come through you'll know that it's you know, CEI is right around the corner. And so the second one will be inviting you to sign in. So on the next slide, we've got an image of that first email. So the subject subject is going to say managing your membership online and um, letting you know that you'll be receiving another email shortly. So it's just kind of warming you up. Again, um, you know, getting a little impatient waiting, but that way you know it's it's coming. And the the follow-up email will be really similar and it's gonna invite you to sign in. So um, it's gonna ask you to change your password. So on that second email, when they ask you to log in, the next screen is gonna show you what it looks like. So it's, yeah, it's gonna have your username, which will be your email address. And you know that's why your your volunteer support managers have been hounding you for you and the and all the parents and the co-leaders to update your um, eBiz email so that we have your latest and greatest because that's going to be the link into the new system. So it's going to ask you to reset your password or change your password, and so you'll just pick your new password and uh, enter it in and click save. And so, all right. So and. Then, once we've made the switch, um, in the future, when you want to access your uh, the member community, which is where you'll do your registration and re troop renewal, um, or if you want to access the volunteer toolkit, it's all going to all you have to do is go to the website, so gsvsc.org, and you're going to see this new tab on the right called My GS. And that's where you can choose to either go into your community or the volunteer toolkit. And you'll continue to see eBiz up at the top for programs, camp, events, and training registration. But once you get the once you get that second email, then the MyGS tab is gonna is gonna be on our website. And that's how you're gonna access. All right, Jimmy, on the next slide. So this is an image of what it'll look like inside your new member community. So some things are different than what you're seeing in eBiz. Some of them seem a little familiar, like the tabs at the top. So you've got your troops or your family profile. So what's different is going to be this full list of all the girls in your troop. You'll also be able to see the adults in your troop too, uh, those who are members or have a specific volunteer role. And the really the new and exciting part is that column over to the right called the renewal choice. So troop co-leaders will be able to renew um, all, some, or none of 
of the girls in your troop. You can also edit some of their information. So that's that's what that's what it's going to look like once you log in. And you've all seen the um, the volunteer toolkit demo, so hopefully by now you've kind of got an idea of what that's going to look like. But if not, we've got those videos on our CEI webpage. And then up next, so if you are impatiently waiting like us, what you can do until you get those two emails. So pretty much continue with business as usual. Uh, attend the weekly CCC presentations. Uh, and I'll say you'll definitely want to be at the June 8th CCC. We're going to go over a lot of the new online forms um, and, and some other exciting pieces happening uh, that we just we don't want to get too in depth. Um, be right before the switch to kind of avoid some of that confusion as we make this transition from from the pre-CEI world into the new. So yeah, we're going to keep having those CCCs each Thursday night and then continue asking questions um, of ourselves and um, your volunteer support managers, anyone. Uh, it helps us know maybe what questions we're not answering and what some of your concerns are. So. Let us know, and if there's anything that you know you want more of. So yeah, keep keep up with that, and then the so next Megan, slide. I'm, okay, oh, sure. before we move on, that's I just want to jump in. Amo had a question, and it was a really good question. She said, "Do lifetime members have?" Um, let me read her question. It says lifetime members have to renew. So, do you want to talk about that? Sure, yes, uh, that is, that's a great question. And no, they do not have to renew. Right, but we do want them to sign in and update their information and choose a role if they have one, correct? Yes, you definitely want to log into the member community because, um, yeah, there's lifetime members who are troop co leaders and, and volunteers and all that. And um, definitely check it out and. Um, and because yeah, if you're in a troop or a, a co-leader, then you'll have access to your volunteer toolkit. But so you don't have to renew, but you, you should definitely log in. And, um, and and what we'll say in a minute here, I think on the next one about what to do once we launch, like we definitely want you to get in there and and check out your information. That's a great question. Yeah. So go to that email. Uh, you know. Check it out, play around, get get comfortable with it, and encourage your volunteers and parents to also log in and look for that email, and you know just just help us uh, su support the volunteers and the parents. And and the biggest thing too um, on the next slide is going to be when people have questions. If there's confusion, I can't. I'm missing a girl, or my address is wrong, or my link isn't working, um, or I'm in the wrong troop. Who are you going to call? Who are you going to email? Info at gsbsd.org. Just point them towards that every time, and we will take care of them, and we'll be able to help them. Because there's going to be questions, certainly, and we welcome them, and, and um, we're going to be ready. So before look yeah so before we jump to this next sneak preview any any other questions about um, the next couple of weeks leading up to CEI All right Jody All right. I don't see, yeah I don't see any questions in the log so we're going to keep moving so now we're going to give you a little sneak preview of, preview of what's to come. So we have on-time online renewal. Um, this is uh, a little bit different than our early bird based on the CEI schedule. So renewal begins July 1st, um, and we're going to have the basically the essential kickoff date for renewal is July 17th. And members can renew for 2018 membership year, August 
2017 to uh, September 2018, and they will be eligible for some fabulous prizes. So the membership year, remember, the Girl Scout membership is, this year is going to be $25 for adults and $32 for girls. And they can go to our website under the M MIGS tab and uh, click on their member profile. So just speaking to that, AMO again, you know, if you want your patch, you need to go in um, and, you're, and log in and um, renew your membership role. So here's our lovely patch for this year for, for uh, renewal. The 2000s are really cute. Can't wait to give them out. Um, so the uh, the timing for the incentives for weeks one through eight, everyone who renews between now and September 15th, basically, um, gets a free patch. And then starting day one, the first incentive will be a drawing. So everyone that's renewed their troop of girls and 70% of their troop and two leaders by July 17th, the kickoff date, by the end of the kickoff date, They'll be placed in a drawing for $150 in troop supplies, and we will mail you a gift card of your choice. After week one, you're going to be put into a drawing for um, a Girl Scout movie night uh, and popcorn party at Camp Sack. And in order to uh, be put in the drawing, you need to renew 80% of your troop and two liters by July 24th. Okay. Here's some of the other renewal programs. We, we are actually going to be giving away uh, the Great American Eclipse Program Kit. Um, I don't know if all of you are aware, but there's going to be a, an eclipse on August 21st, and we're putting together ki kits for troops. Um, there will be four troop winners that will be chosen, and the kits will be available um, August 8th through the 11th. Um, renew. Um, 80% of your troop and two leaders by July 31st, and you'll be put in that drawing. Um, week three is going to be a karaoke party by yours truly. Um, ready to sing your heart out at Camp Sugar Hollow on September 30th. So you have to renew 80% of your troop and two leaders by August 7th to be put in that drawing. There will be one troop that wins. Um, and then any additional troops that meet that criteria of 80% of their troop renewed and two leaders can actually pay to come to that event if they would like. Um, and it's $7 per girl. Uh, adults are free. <laughs> and then uh, week four, we're excited about the Glamma Jamma PJ party that will be happening October 14th through the 15th. In order to be put in the drawing, one troop will win. And, and again, additionally, if they have additional troops that meet the criteria, they'll also uh, be invited to register and attend on a first come, first serve basis. And it will be ten dollars to attend. Um, but you have to renew eighty percent of your troops and two leaders by August fourteenth. So, and last but not least, uh, week five, six, and seven, we have drawing for troop supplies. Uh, week five is seventy five dollars. Week six is fifty dollars, and week seven is twenty five dollars. Um, and again, it's 80% of your troop renewed and two leaders by the, the set date. And then last but not least, we're so excited. We want to feature your troop in um, <clears throat> the uh, Girl Scout Connection and our GSBSC social media channel. And so if you renew by uh, September 15th, um, your troop will be highlighted um, uh, in, in one of these or both of these. Um, and Jennifer, are we are we... I think I might have missed that part. Are we Is there more than one troop that we're highlighting? Can you speak to that, Jennifer? It's a drawing on for one troop. It's a one troop. Okay. So, yeah. So, we, we, I just missed that part. But, yeah. So, we're going to highlight one troop. Awesome. Thank you, Jennifer. So, this is something fun and new that we're doing this year um, to hopefully uh, get people excited about CEI and get them in uh, the system. So the other thing that we're doing that we're really excited to, to share with our service unit team is that there will also be a service unit renewal drawing. So any service unit that helps uh, renew or has renewed 70% of their service unit girl members by July 17th will get a free weekend at a camp of their choice. So we're really excited. And so by the end, that, that drawing will occur um, after the 17th. So uh, we're really excited. So the other thing that we have going that we're really excited about is that um, in the, between August 1st and September 15th, 
we will have um, offer service unit renewal hub, and the staff will come with laptops and internet access via hotspots and some renewal instructions, little handouts to give you if you need some tips to how to get renewed, and then also some volunteer toolkit demos for the troop leaders and parents. So your volunteer specialists will be um, contacting the service unit teams to schedule the renewal hub. So if you want one at your service unit meeting or if you're having a service unit event or bridging ceremony or any kind of community event or recruitment event that you'd like us to be there with the hotspots and the laptops, please let us know. Like I said, the volunteer specialists will be reaching out um, and scheduling these uh, pretty quickly. So we want to be ready for August 1st. Um, through September 15th to provide the support that, that you might need. Any questions? Glamour is held at Ishimani. That's, yeah, the Glamour Jamma will be at Ishimani. Sorry, I might not have said that out loud. That was a good question. So yes, it's gonna be at Ishimani. And it's gonna be an overnight for those that maybe are coming out of town. So we hope y'all are all excited about that. We're looking forward to that. Yeah, and I just, Mark, I'm really, Jody, just, you've done such a great job with this whole renewal plan, and yeah, it's amazing. It's awesome. Thank you. I, I, I hope it gets people excited about being Girl Scouts and getting them in the new system, and we just want everybody to really see how much better this experience is going to be just renewing their troops and, and getting ready for the new year and the resources that that are put in place for them to help, you know, facilitate some programs for the girls. So I'm really excited. I really hope everybody else is getting excited. All right, so Megan, I'll let you talk about this. This is a CEI t-shirt, so I'll let you take it away. Yeah, so this is another work of our um, Lillian's uh, masterpieces. So she, uh, put together those great posters and then she also put together this staff shirt and it's actually it looks even better in person because the CEI is, is a lot bigger um, so we played off of the GIRL branding and look and feel and so the cool thing is so the staff has these and we'll be wearing them at our renewal hubs but we purchased 18 extra and in the next service or at the yeah the next roundtable meeting we'll be talking about planning where those service unit um, hubs will be because I mean we won't be able to go to every service unit so we'll want to start talking with you all about where we'll plan them and so for these remaining shirts for the service unit that are you know really interested and want to help out and are gonna help us host renewal hub we've got extra shirts and you know we'll put out a, a sign up sheet with, with the sizes that we have left and um can't wait to just yeah give those out and, and share them as well and we've given one to helen ruth our board chair and she's gonna make a special appearance at one of the renewal hubs and so will our new ceo nikki williams who is amazing and we love her already and um so yeah we're just really excited truly excited to celebrate CEI with you and um, you know unfortunately we, we only have 18 shirts but um, you know that's yeah one of the fun fun perks that come with with the CEI celebration awesome thank you Megan all right so the next service unit roundtable meeting will be Thursday June 22nd right here this time this place uh, we will be discussing, as Megan said, on-time online renewal planning and then any of your CEI support questions because that time we will be live. It's going to be a whole new world. <laughs> a whole new world, that's right. <laughs> really excited. So, any questions between now and then, you can email Megan. Um, you can go to our website first off at www.dscsc.org forward slash CEI or you can contact Megan at Megan Duvall at gscc.org or Jennifer Fisher at communications at gscc.org. And again, this is until we go live because after that, you're going to be info at gscc.org. So much easier than two or three yeah. or four or 31 yeah. different emails. No, actually, what did we have, Jennifer? We took a, a recent list of all of our emails and I think we had 200 or something. That was crazy. Yeah, 
we have 200 emails at CSVSC, and we're actually going to be funneling it down to one. It's amazing. The power of technology is finally on our side. <laughs> Well, and I, I would just like to say and offer this too. It's not just the EI that we're doing. We really are trying to look at, you know, other oh, yeah. things through this process to make it easier. Like forms, making them, you know, different forms available that might be easier to access online, you know, um, or fill out mm -hmm. online. And so it's, again, to the right person. So there's so many other things that are going on that, you know, we want to share with you guys. But we just, you know, again, we don't want to overwhelm you, but just want to start slow and steady and get y'all prepared. It's going to be fun. All right. If there's, is, are there any questions before we, before we go on? Yes, I will. Amo, thank you for asking. I will be sending out an email with the slides and a recording so you can hear us again if you like. Um, so, yeah, so we'll be sending this out so you can share and discuss it with your your service units and, and the volunteers there. So thank you again for being on the call. That's the so, end of our slideshow. And I just, I, I really want to reiterate and encourage you to ask questions. Like, please don't feel um, intimidated by all this technology stuff and I'd love to talk it through with you and, and support y'all in any way you need. You're awesome and we cannot do what we do without you. And we're just really excited. I mean, this is truly, the customer engagement initiative is about you and making your lives better. So we're really excited to turn the page at GSBSC. And I'm honored to be a part of it. So this has been a great council to work, work at and with and for, and we're just really excited. Well, thank you, Megan. Well, thanks everyone for being on the call. Uh, well, that concludes our meeting for this evening. And we look forward to hoping you'll be on the next meeting on June 22nd at seven o'clock right here. We'll be sending out reminders when it gets close. So thank you guys. Have a good night. Thank you, thank you. Night all, <laughs> bye.